Scientists announced the San Andreas Fault is due for another major earthquake, specifically in Southern California. There hasn't been a big earthquake on the Southern San Andreas Fault for a long time, and we may have found a reason why. Experts say that this area has been quiet for too long. There hasn't been a major quake here in 300 years. One expert says the fault's locked, loaded, and ready to go. In a recent and alarming announcement, NASA has revealed that the notorious San Andreas Fault has ruptured, signaling a potential catastrophic earthquake that could rock the foundation of the U.S. state of California. The fault, a geological time bomb extending over 810 miles along the picturesque west coast, has long been a cause for concern among researchers who are now certain that the next significant earthquake in the region could lead to unprecedented devastation. Despite the alarming signs, a perplexing question persists. Why do people in the area continue to act as if the danger doesn't exist? Deadly fissure in the Earth the San Andreas Fault, a massive geological feature, snakes its way through California, stretching from the coast of Mendocino County in the north to the Sultan Sea in the Imperial County in the south. It's been etched into the Earth's crust for approximately 30 million years, a result of peculiarities in the configuration of continental plates. Astonishingly, major cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, San Jose, Sacramento, and Palm Springs have flourished directly on or within the immediate catchment area of this seismic time bomb. When settlers first established these metropolises, the fault was already known. But the allure of the region, proximity to the Pacific, the promise of striking it rich in the California gold rush, overshadowed the lurking danger. Over time, the fault's deceptiveness became evident, as erosion caused it to disappear almost entirely in some places, leaving behind seemingly harmless signs that non-experts could easily mistake for dryness or a dried-up stream bed. However, when the fault reopens due to geological activities, it can unleash a gap within seconds, forming a several hundred feet or even miles deep fissure accompanied by devastating earthquakes. This geological anomaly is not a straightforward single line. Instead, it comprises various sections located in different geological regions, each with distinct characteristics and degrees of seismic activity. Seismic observations indicate that this region is the most geologically active in the entire United States, and earthquakes along the fault have inflicted significant damage in the past. The question that looms large is why millions of people continue to live in an area that is essentially a geological powder keg, where constant stress and fear are part of daily life. The answer lies in the deep-rooted nature of settlements, making it seemingly impossible to re-evacuate sprawling metropolises like San Francisco and San Diego. Despite the current measurements pointing to more than just the dawn of a terrible earthquake, signs suggest that the fault could break apart entirely. This would mean the coastal areas of California could slide miles out to sea, instantly extinguishing some of the state's most glamorous cities. The threat is real, yet the unreliability of early warning systems adds to the uncertainty, leaving residents on edge and constantly living with the risk and fear. The Fault's Geological Complexity The San Andreas Fault is not just a tension zone between two tectonic plates. It's a massive fracture line in the Earth's crust, stretching from the northern end of the Gulf of California to western California and then continues towards the Pacific Ocean, dipping beneath the ocean surface in the area of San Francisco. The rupture would result in the regions to the left of the fault being drawn into the massive gap, while those on the right could shift over the areas to the left, causing entire metropolises to sink and disappear. The regions at the foot of the San Andreas Fault, particularly in Southern California, face an increasing risk of a complex rupture. Tectonic movements periodically cause earthquakes in the area, but researchers now see the worst disasters of the past as warnings for the inevitable. In 1906, a devastating earthquake laid much of San Francisco to rubble and ash, but the city was rebuilt unknowingly over the years. Since then, the area has been extensively studied geologically, with scientists and seismologists emphasizing the imminent danger. History of Disasters 1989, the Earth shook in a threatening way once again, as a quake, though somewhat milder than that of 1906, rattled the region. 
people, however, lulled themselves into safety only to face an even stronger and more destructive earthquake in Northridge five years later. Northridge, located on one of the larger secondary fault lines of the San Andreas Fault, experienced the wrath of an earthquake that devastated the suburb. Los Angeles, a city of millions, is just 31 miles east of the main fault line, placing it directly in the danger zone. While earthquakes and increased seismic activity have been measured closer to the fault, communities miles away such as Point Rise, Fraser Park, Dolly City, Desert Hot Springs, Gorman, San Bernardino, Wrightwood, and Bodega Bay are also considered at significant risk. At a recent National Earthquake Conference, Thomas Jordan, the director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, delivered a worrying announcement. He stated that the San Andreas Fault is in a very critical state, and people must be prepared for a major earthquake at any time. NASA's satellite measurements from space have pinpointed the Southern California section of the fault as particularly susceptible to giving way. The warning has prompted increased alertness among California residents. Still, the paradox remains that people are forced to return to their normal lives despite living constantly with the risk and fear, reminiscent of those who chose to build homes near active volcanoes or in other high-risk areas, as evidenced by the recent eruption of the Canary Island of La Palma. Now, if you're liking our video so far, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Lessons from La Palma in 2021, La Palma faced the unpleasant truth after over 50 years of dormancy when the Cumber Vieja erupted. The Asherin transformed the landscape into a burning desert, and lava flows inexorably made their way into the Atlantic. While La Palma, sparsely populated compared to California, managed a flawless evacuation, it serves as a warning about the reliability of early warning systems. Scientists reluctantly admit that the capabilities of seismological monitoring of the Earth and global early warning systems are far from reliable. Major volcanic eruptions and earthquakes in the last few decades were largely unpredictable. The earthquake in Haiti in 2020, the Tohoku earthquake in Japan in 2011, and the devastating earthquake in Nepal in 2015 all took people by surprise, causing massive loss of life. Even the largest tsunami of our time in 2004 in Southeast Asia occurred without any significant warning. Returning to the San Andreas Fault, history teaches us that the last time a large section broke off in the southern region in 1857, it was accompanied by an earthquake of magnitude 7.9. In the days leading up to the catastrophe, Settlers and gold prospectors reported an odd silence that had spread across the land, an eerie calm before the quake. Thomas Jordan emphasizes that continuous seismic activity within certain parameters is reassuring, and a sudden silence can indicate an impending catastrophe. In the face of this impending disaster, millions of people in the region have been preparing for years. Buildings are constructed based on the latest earthquake safety findings, and roads and bridges are designed to flexibly withstand shocks up to magnitude of 8.0 on the Richter scale. The Los Angeles Regional Administration, relying on modernization data, estimates up to 50,000 seriously injured people, $200 billion in property damage, and severe disruptions to public order lasting for days in the event of an earthquake disaster. The mayor of the celebrity metropolis predicts that 1,500 people could anticipate death in a serious case. However, more pessimistic experts argue that such estimates are a farce. If the San Andreas Fault were to break apart entirely, hundreds of thousands of lives could be lost, and some of California's most glamorous cities and communities could be lost forever. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know in the comments section below, and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.